Welcome to video 46 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the player master script. I'll start by making a new master script and I'm going to call it player master. All right, and open it up. I'm not going to need any of these methods, so I'll just get rid of them. And I'll start building my event system. So public delegate void a general event handler. And I'm going to have a couple of events. So public event of the type general event handler. And the first one's going to be event uh, inventory change, inventory changed. And the next one, why don't I just copy this? I'm going to have three. And the second one, I'll make it to event hands empty. And the last one, event ammo changed. So I'll just get rid of that. I'll make another delegate here, so public delegate void uh, ammo event handler. And this one is actually going to take some parameters. So first of all, string, and I'll put in like ammo name or ammo type. So ammo name, and I'll put in here int quantity. Okay, so that is my delegate here. So this event will actually uh, pass on these values uh, to the listener. And then, of course, I need to make the event there. And just before I do that, I just realize I probably should just make that a bit more sensible because this is what it's going to be about. It's about the picking up of ammo. So ammo pickup event handler. And now I'll put in my public event of the type ammo pickup event handler event picked up ammo picked up ammo reads a bit better okay so that's that done we'll have another delegate now public delegate void a player health event handler and this too will have a parameter uh, so it's going to be an int basically and i i guess i'll just call it int health change and then two events a so public event of the type player health change oops wrong spelling player health change uh, I'll, I'll call this one um well i call it like player health event player health detection and then i'll copy that Let's bring it over and I'll make this one player health increase. Okay, so those are my events. Now I need to, of course, have methods here so that they be, they can be called. So of course other scripts will access the max master script and then call those events. So first of all, public uh, void if call event call event inventory changed and of course have to check that something is actually subscribed to that event invent inventory changed not equal to null and if it's not then if this public method is called then uh, action that uh, event event inventory changed okay good and uh, pretty much I just need to do the same sort of thing uh, another few times. Public void call event hands empty. Check it. So if event hands empty not equal to no. Then in that case, event hands empty. All right, and then public void call event 
ammo change. And then if event ammo changed. Oh. Should put it inside. If event ammo changed, not equal to null. Then of course call it event ammo changed. Okay, looking good. Uh, still got these other three more to go, so this one will get some parameters in it. Public void call event picked up ammo. And this is going to be a string. And I'll just call it the ammo name. I can call it exactly the same thing. Doesn't matter. Int quantity. All right. And first of all, check if event picked up ammo not equal to null. So something is subscribed. And then, all right. Then event picked up ammo. And I need to pass in the parameters. So ammo name. That's there. And quantity. All right. Good. So, which is really cool. So what's going to happen is that uh, uh, whatever is listening to this event, it will receive the values uh, that's passed into this event when it's triggered. So it'll automatically get those values and I can then make use of it, which is very, very cool. Okay, continuing. Uh, public void call event. What's that event? Uh, player health deduction. Call event. Player health deduction. And uh, this one too, it needs an int. So I'll just put in here DMG to stand for damage. And basically, if event player health deduction not equal to null, then in that case, deduct that health. It will call this event. Event player health deduction dmg pass it in good next uh, the increase public void call event player health increase i'll say int increase now i don't actually uh, ever call this method i haven't made any uh, pickups in the S3 project. I mean, you can. It's very easy. Once we've built all the systems, you'll be able to do such a thing uh, easily yourself. But I don't actually ever make use of this uh, method here. It's just there. It's waiting to get used, but it's never actually used uh, in my project. Not equal to null. Then event player health increase, and that is increase. Good. Okay, so that's all done. And I've got all of my player master stuff completed. So that means I should jump back into Unity, go to the player, and slap it on. Uh, one thing I should do, I just realized the player is still a prefab. And I don't want it to overwrite the original prefab, uh, unless I've already made one. No, see, I haven't not. I've not actually made a unique prefab for the player. Uh, so what I should do is game object break prefab instance. So I shouldn't hit apply here. Otherwise, it'll go and save it over the standard assets. And this is no longer a standard assets, uh, uh, I guess, player character. I've changed it a fair bit. Well, we'll be changing it even more. And it's changed enough to warrant not doing that. OK, so uh, that's it. My player master script is on. Of course, absolutely nothing is going to happen with that. But it is the foundation of what we'll be doing uh, from well for the rest of the series, really, because uh, there's a lot that happens with those events that you saw there. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.